Okay, draw my time. I'm Wave. I was a healer for High Aesthetic called Protocol Pals. We have a lot of experienced players, people who have played the game for multiple years since Rome Reborn, since Heaven's War. People like Rin Kargane. This static was one of the worst experiences I've ever had. We spent over the course of three weeks, probably trialed or replaced over 10 people. Oh sh! Many of them were doing very quite well. I had one co-healer who I thought was doing very well. They were not holding us back, I don't think. But the logs were not up to par. The logs were inspected and the logs were not up to par. So that co-healer was replaced. And this is what I'm going to talk about today. It's Final Fantasy XIV elitism and how people in this game at the higher levels are way too focused on this on on, on these logs and on this type of thing. I like watching this video this because him jumping around like that. Yourself, it's like me when I got nothing to do. So. This is normal. I thought I'm weird, you know? In this experience, my co-healer and I got into a bit of an argument. They kept spamming the GCD heal and losing all of their mana. So I kept telling them like, hey, you can stop GCD healing here. And then they went back and looked at my logs. They said, no, you need the GCD heal more. And in this mechanic, these are the, the logs from one of our, our polls. In these logs, I was not GCD healing during the downtime mechanic because I was focused on the mechanic to try and learn the mechanic because it's a, it's P5, it's the farthest fight we've been, it's farthest phase we've been in the fight. And I'm trying my best to not cause us to why maybe that is an issue as a healer, I should be GCD healing. But instead of GCD healing, which causes me to, to stand still, have to try to slide cast, have to use focus, I just try to plan out my off globals and put them down. If I miss someone with my GCD heal, I have to spot heal them. Can I miss someone with Earthly Star? No, I can't. Here's what was going on. My co-healer here was just spamming GCD heals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I was doing like macro, star, celestial opposition, had a lady of crowns here, I got lucky this pull. To get to the point, it became a log investigation and people started to pile on. We got to this part where I had said one thing. I told my co-healer like, hey, you can stop GCD healing here. You can do less GCD heals because you're losing all your mana. I will show you a clip. This is from Rin's stream. It's not my stream. I, I was not recording this day. I was not streaming this day. If you look at Dice's mana, already Dice's mana was very low. I'm not sure why, if I'm being completely honest. Maybe they were GCD healing too much for mechanics and I kept, I did tell them on the second day because I played with three different co-healers in this static. <laughs> Holy sh**. Wait, over the course of three weeks, they replaced three healers? I said to Dice, hey, you can do less GCD shields if you want. We just might need to communicate a little bit more. And they were like, no, it's fine. I'll just do it for safety. I'm like, okay, for safety, that's good. You can do that. You know, maybe they were not managing their mana correctly, but or maybe it was just too much GCD shields, but this is what, what we're at. But the big kicker, this is an okay amount of mana. It's not great, but for a downtime phase, this is an okay amount of mana. Now what's going to happen is you should just keep getting up. See, 39,000, but boom, 32,000. Look, this is, is, is what was driving me crazy. Look at the mana, 25,000. It keeps going down. We're not taking any damage. Nothing is happening. 25,000 mana, 1,200 mana. The mana just keeps going down. Let's keep watching. We have macro, we have horoscope, and we have neutral sect, and we still have shields on us. This machine still has Eucrasian prognosis. We're not in danger here, but look, the mana, like he keeps casting heals here. 1300 mana 500 now my co-healer has drained all of their mana at a point in the fight where we have not taken a single instance of damage or we have not dropped from full hp in the past like 15 seconds we have not dropped from full hp and my co-healer has drained all of their mana 100 mana and we still have barely dropped from full hp now this like applying shields here is good i think this is a spot where it's good to apply shields here like the other other shields broke you should re reapply the shields it helps protect from the stack damage but the point is like that would be one gcd shield that's not four thousand mana worth of gcd shielding like the amount of mana that they just spent is insane any healer could look at this and tell you that this is not right the healer should not be doing this and you want to know why they're doing this i didn't understand it at first either like i had no idea what was going on so i talked to multiple healers who i knew who actually had experience in this game and they told me yeah that's active uptime that's a funny number, active uptime, you know, elitism, to get your, your, your number as high as possible. And I'm like, why? Why do they want active uptime in this downtime phase? It's the most dumb thing I ever saw. And they're just like, yeah, some people are like that. So Wait, really? Okay, okay. Ask Dice here, my co-healer, to stop doing this. And basically, they got so angry, they left the Discord, and, and they basically told the static leader that it's it, me or him who, who's going to stay in the static. Dice has been a longtime friend of the static leader. Dice was, was originally a member, and they had cleared other stuff together. So I just joined the static two weeks ago. And so, unfortunately, the static leader had to message me and tell me, like, yeah, we're going to keep Dice, and you're out. Dude, there's so many multiple things in this already. First, we got FF lock. Second, we got this uptime. And then third, we got that. Favorism. Fourth, we got... Who's right? Who, who? That's not even the biggest problem because after this, we try to have a discussion. Maybe I do not communicate in the right, in the correct way because I start to feel a bit defensive. Okay, okay. Before we go into him and his static discussion, let's just 
address the first thing first. FF lock. I'm gonna say this one time. Any one of you in chat or even anyone out there right now that has been chasing for lock, you are f***ing irrelevant. Clip this and send it to your static. Final Fantasy XIV is legit the only game that FF locks don't mean sh I've been streaming this game for 7 years. I've been playing this game for almost 10 years. There was not one time I give a f*** about my lock. Not because I don't want to improve. It's because this game, right? All you gotta f***ing do, right? Is your dummy rotation. Anything else that comes after is literally optimization. That honestly doesn't f***ing matter. In this game, right? It's either you're 99 or you're 100. Okay, you know what? Let's go even more generous. Either you're 90 or you're 99. What I'm trying to say is either you do good damage or you do the best damage. And in this game, playing for 10 years, I can tell you, doing good damage is enough since the day one of playing this game all i do and all i care is dummy rotation every single expansion every single job i pull out a dummy rotation i just do the dummy rotation it got me every content click it got me every ultimate early click it got me into any static and we always click on that don't make this into me trying to say that you shouldn't give a shit about ff locks no ff locks right is very very good for self-improvement extremely good for self-improvement okay if you want to self-improve if you think that the numbers is the reason that you can and look at it and say hey look this is how i improve today tomorrow in this group in this communal group good for you you got a piece of content in the game that you think you should work hard for and you think that it brings you joy it brings you satisfaction i'm happy for you i'm happy for you but my point is right you don't need that to play this game now if i encounter any fight that require me to play my utmost best and aim for 9900 percent the top 99 pass top 10 pass i will tell you a different story today but here's the thing never never once i was never one push myself to the wall and tell myself holy f i really need to play Perfectly. And then PAS happened. Gordius happened. Manipulator happened. All these are tight DPS check back in the days and even today, right? PAS, right? Even this ultimate, a lot of people say at the very beginning, you know, P1, P2, P3, P4 have got tight DPS check. Bro, you literally just do your dummy rotation. You can clear the fight. Maybe PAS, if you don't have the comp, even if you push to 100% down, maybe you can't. That is not because you didn't push your button. You know? That's not because you didn't play enough. That's because the job... The job is in balance. That is Square Enix fault. That is not because you never pass the 99%. Again, man, I'm not trying to say that you don't go for passes, right? But if you use pass as like a basis of how you play this game and how you clear the fight, I think it's really sad. If you clear the fight and then you want to go into PF, mingle with your friends that wants to pass and then you guys pass, that's fine. But if you're telling me if you're progging and the first thing that is on your head is passing, you are a problem. I'm not saying that you are the problem. You are a problem. The guy who make FF vlogs give you a platform for analysis the players that is chasing the lock is doing the thing wrong they are not doing what ff locks was meant to be they are using it for the wrong reason i seen it too many times already so it comes as a no surprise if you tell me this guy is playing this way because he wanted active uptime i wouldn't be surprised i don't give a shit about final fantasy 14 ff lock if anything i wish i do like in ff lock because the shit I do in FF locks and then I'm able to clear the fight faster than most of you. It shows you that whatever you're prioritizing is wrong. The guy that only cares about dummy rotation, the guy that only do damage rotation, the guy that actually hold DPS so that the whole group can get more resources, the whole group get passer, is the guy that clear faster than most of the people that care for the loss and is better in law and then here's a here's step two here's number two the people that i knew is good passers are all cheaters you know the jp number one physical range ring is cheating mass number one red mage confessed the cheating it's like i'm not saying that all hundred percent out players are cheating those are the extremes and funny enough the extremes get you hundred percent out and then you got this idiot right here i have no idea who this is you got this guy here burning all the mana just for active up time you see what i mean the spectrum of people looking at how ff loss is and how people would do dumb sh just so that they can have a good lock whether it's numbers or even up time further vindicate to me the ff lock is a very good tool but people use it stupidly people look at it stupidly people look at it the wrong way people play the game for the locks they don't play the game for the static they don't play the game for one another they play the game for themselves ff locks make people selfish i prefer players who are willing to each for the team rather than the guy who is the highest passer in the group i don't think my co-healer should just afk and not heal but i am trying my best that's what i started to do in this conversation and this was not with dice because dice was gone i was trying to communicate there was a certain point in this conversation when i wanted to just leave the voice chat i wanted to leave the discord server and i wanted to never talk to these people again but i stayed because i wanted to try to make it work i wanted to communicate so i stayed and i was like here's my healing rotation here's what i'm doing here's how i'm trying to heal this phase we got to a certain point in this discussion that i was having with rin where rin's like no you're straining your co-healer you are forcing your co-healer to have zero mana here you are not healing enough your co-healer is doing like two three gcds in an ixical 
and they are not healing enough and you are straining them. I'm just sitting there in the moment I'm thinking to myself like three GCD heals that is not the full mana pool but you know, it's Rin Karagane, like, what can I say to the man, you know? These are players who, who have played for longer than I have, maybe they know more than I do. Okay, just for this situation, this one for this one example that he pulled up, I do think that this Sage is full of sh Now, obviously, they've been ready for three weeks, they swapped three healers in three weeks. We don't know the whole story, but just based on this one tailored, one vod. It doesn't make sense why he was doing what he's doing. I'm not even a main healer. I can tell, bro. What the f was he doing? Until I spoke with other healers and they were like, no, that's not right. That's when I gained the confidence to come out and say that. There's a point where, where Rin says, like, I am straining my co-healer here because they are having the GCD heal so much that I am straining them. And honestly, no, I'm the one who feels strained here. When I see my co-healer doing this, when I see my co-healer at zero mana in this phase, because they just spammed seven GCD heals at a time when no healing was needed, I'm the one who feels strained. I'm the one who feels like I have to plan my healing. Okay, now, 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 real talk though, real talk though. Is this guy really doing what he just did for uptime? Just for uptime? Or is there any case that he's actually trying to keep the party safe? Is he really just doing it for the uptime? Or did he think that talking to other people and other people think that, you know, there's a reason why he do this. Maybe he's trying to go for uptime. But, but is this guy really doing it for uptime? But there's a difference of what other people think and there's a difference with what is actually going on, right? You know? I'm in this moment, like, being gaslit. It make Because it, in this moment, in this conversation that I have after this poll, I feel like I'm the one to blame. Like, I'm the one causing them to have zero mana because that's what they keep telling me. I tried to, to point something out and, and everyone started to tell me that I was wrong and that I was, was making mistakes. And they started to go into the logs and, and look at the logs and bring up like off tangent points that did not have anything to do with the, the, the point. That right, that sounds so American. That sounds like when an American teenager committed a crime and then you go to court and then what happens in court is no longer about the evidence. It's just trying to make you just accept it and then we move on. It doesn't even matter whether you're right or wrong at that point. At that point, it's just cooking up something for you to take the blame. It is not about right or wrong, it's about what needs to be done. For this group, what needs to be done was that this guy needs to go. It has nothing to do with how he played the game. It was just the city council decided that this case cannot go to court. We're gonna lose a lot of money. Just let this guy either take the blame, we find some random breadcrumb evidence tied around his neck and then we send him to jail. Done. The end. We, we don't have to go, we don't have to spend a million, spend three months trawling this guy and, 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 and get the judge, the jury and stuff together. No, right? Everybody go to FFLogs, collect some information, collect some DMs, you know, put this shit on him and then he's out of the way. That's literally what happened right here. They looked at the logs and were like, oh, you only have this many casts of this ability. And I said, well, well, yeah, but because I had more casts of the ability, but then my co-healer started to heal so much that I didn't need to use it anymore. So I just stopped using it. And I tried to tell them like they could stop healing in these spots, but uh, they said it was fine for safety. So I just like, okay, for full HP, why am I going to cast this ability? So yeah, I only have so many casts of Celestial Opposition. I used to have like seven casts of Celestial still opposite now i have four because my co-healer is just healing everything and i when i tried to talk to them they said it was fine for safety if the mana is an issue that's something that needs to be communicated instead what ends up happening is these guys like keep saying these things why do i feel I start to believe why do i feel like there's a plot twist in here why do i feel like there is a there's this one puzzle that is missing that make him feel this way in things that were not factually proven because dice casts all these gcd heals and then shows the logs to people and says like look at how many gcd heals i'm casting i am doing everything in this mechanic but if you actually look at the numbers here i was healing more than dice for this poll in these numbers i was doing more healing why do i feel bad for this it, guy i got a message that like the, the communication just wasn't there and you know because that is a pretty okay, that, that right that is a pretty standard that right that is a pretty standard when you kick somebody out of the static one of the most common thing that people will always tell you or if you get rejected into a trial the most common thing that people will always say the most the best the best way to reject someone is to say there isn't any communication you are a decent player play with you is okay but we just feel like the communication is lacking that is the most common thing they when yeah you know you done a good job, the adults will take it from here. I think you did really well. We will call you back in three days. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are I think you are I think you are valuable 
asset to the team, but I just think the communication is not there. And this is the problem with, with Final Fantasy XIV elitism, and not just me, but the other people in this static who got replaced before me. Because they were also, their logs were also looked at, you know, they were all, the, 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 the telescope came out and they looked at every single GCD in the logs, and I'm like, why? You know, how many, every single usage of how many usages they had of each ability. But if the party's not dying and we're not having issues and no one's communicating that there are issues, then why? Okay, you want to know what is the issue? The issue is that until now, they haven't cleared the fight. That tells you everything you need to know. And these are things you don't find out after you join the static. These are things you need to find out before you join the static. When you join a group, right, it is very important you know who you are playing with. In this case, since he is microscoping into Rin, let me tell you something about Rin. Rin is exactly Rin. When I look at Rin, when I watch Rin, when I play with Rin, when I talk to Rin, that is Rin. That was not one time, right? Rin is giving me a vibe that suddenly I feel like this guy is not Rin. This is not the guy that I know. No, whenever I talk to Rin, whenever I see him play, whenever I play with him, I know exactly what I'm getting. What Rin does on his stream is him trying to be nice, not him pretending to be nice. I think people need to understand the difference. If Rin wants to be, if Rin wants to pretend to be nice, he wouldn't have said the things, he wouldn't have played with some players and say some of the things or tweet out things or, or, or think like, like he will be completely just pretend to be nice, like everything is strawberry and roses. No, I don't think he's pretending to be nice. I think he's trying to be nice. At least on his stream, he's trying to be nice. But as a person, he's exactly what I'd expected him to be. He's a guy with his own set of principles and he's never gonna let down his own principle without a fight. If let's just say he's being told he's wrong, he's not gonna suddenly roll over and say, I guess you are right, I'm wrong. You know what? I would take constructive citizen, a, a, a constructive criticism to be better. No, 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 no. Rin will not do that. If Rin does that, then Rin is pretending to be nice. But Rin never do that. If things need to be said, if things need to be pointed at the right direction, and if he thinks that that is the correct direction, he will not be afraid to tell you that what he thinks is correct and what he does is the right thing. I respect that. At least he is putting himself on the line and fight for what he believes in. Now, here's the thing. What he believes in is not always right. He thinks it's right and he fight for it, but that doesn't mean that what he does is the right thing. Okay, that's real. So if you are one of the guys that you think that watching his content or watching his YouTube video or watching whatever the f like, you know, like what Wave is saying about, you know, how he looked at his previous video, he didn't expect Rin to be like this, then you didn't do your homework enough. That means you never learn properly how to understand someone before you dive into the static. For you, when you join this static, your brain was probably only thinking, wow, I got Rin in there, I got experience 14 play, that surely I'm gonna get the best experience I'm gonna get. Because if you know Rin, if I know Rin, I can be sure. If one day we got a conflict in strat, we will go into an argument, 100%. But that argument is gonna just strictly, basically, arguing for strength. Not because I hate you, not because you hate me, not because after this, I'm gonna hate you. I'm gonna tell everybody that I'm gonna not agree with you. No, 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 no. You know, it's a value added discussion. The pros and cons being listed down. So far when me and Rin play, it has always been business and the business checks out. I know sometimes he get frustrated. I, I, I understand why he do that. I know why he think about it this way. Like, you know, for example, when we play WoW, there was one time Rin threw uh, through a tantrum in wow i don't blame him because that's exactly how i feel it's just that he never maybe experienced that as much as i do and for me i just like ah f it you know i get it i get it but that is because i get it if you don't get that if you just straight up think that rin is just like him on the stream a very nice positive person you're wrong i'm sorry you're wrong i'm not saying this to flame rin i'm not trying to say that rin is a nice person on stream and it's not a nice person off stream that's not what i'm trying to say what i'm trying to say is i don't think rin is trying to hide that i don't think rin is trying to be like on stream being a nice guy and then offline he's nasty to you but then because you don't have evidence or because you think that's sh rin personally thinks that he's not a sh person no he knows exactly what he's doing. All the things he say, all the things he do, all the things he try to talk about, he knew exactly what he was doing. If you want to read with like people like this, you need to know that. You can't just close one eye and just expect, oh, people tell me that he's a good this, good raider, good that, and then everything will be fine. No, this is why you got a culture shock. That's why joining static, right, is more than just going through the application, having a good resume, getting accepted and trials is way more than that. You need to play with them even not in trials. You need to mingle with them. Even start not in your own static to know them, to see whether these are the people you want to read with. Yeah, yeah, check the vibes. Yeah, you need to check the vibe. You can be the nicest person on earth. You still not going to read with that guy. And not any person. I can give you Mr. Nice Guy 
that never curse and swear in his life, never say no to anything, you will also have a story to tell that, man, I can't, I just can't read with this guy. I don't think there's such thing as the wrong rating mentality. I think there is such thing as you need to find the correct group that suits the same mentality. In this group, if they are a bunch of people that is gonna guess like someone, you or him, and they're gonna choose him over you, even the overwhelming evidence that shows that on paper, you're not doing wrong, sometimes you're gonna read the line. Okay, you know what? It has nothing to do with me. I just have to find another static that make sure that this situation won't happen again. I think it's a valuable lesson. If Wave is listening to this, I don't want to say here that you are right or say you are wrong. Let's just say this group was not meant for you and you are not meant for them. Not all girlfriends can be wives. Some girlfriend you f*** around a little bit, some girlfriend you date a little bit and then you move on to the next one. Your next girlfriend is not going to be better than your previous. But you ask yourself, what are you looking for? Is this the right fit? One day you find it, then you will know what you want, right? It's new. He only just started raiding what? And Walker? These people have been raiding since a Realm Reborn. It's going to be harder. I don't think them using FF locks against you has nothing to do with your performance. They are just nitpicking to get you the out. Let's be honest. If they went through three trials and members and he's still here, he surely ain't the main problem. If he's the main problem, he would have been gone. So I think he can take away from this that deal you clearly in the problem you have been doing well to last this far you being on meeting this time is just straightly because they are friends you are a new player if you are a brand new raider to this game this is what you're gonna settle for you're just gonna be pushed around you just need to greet it through you know you just have to grind it through and then one day you find a circle of raider not friends not friends okay no 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 not friends this is a circle of friends this is a circle of raiding this blue circle is you you want to raid in this place this is where you want to raid in. Always put yourself in this blue area where you can raid with randoms. You guys can have a very healthy communication, healthy, non-biased raiding setup. Or if you are raiding with your friends, you make sure that these friends are also raiders that can understand the difference of not mixing friendship and raiding. I will say the furthest you can go is here. Me and Zeno is here. The moment we go into the instance, the moment we pull, we are raiders. We are not friends. You're doing something wrong. You forgot to press a CD. You go to the wrong spot. I'm going to call you out. Bro, you're not supposed to be there. But I always go here. You always go here because I adjust for you. You need to stop going there because I ain't adjusting for you anymore. Let me tell you, if you can find a group that can raid here, it's the best. Here is my JP static. This is my JP static. You do not not, I repeat, you do not want to rape with friends only. This is the static that will never get anything done. This is the type of static that will never get anything done relevantly. These are the static that probably clear week three or savage. These are the static that clear three months and ultimate. If you want to find a good group, if you want to find a group that you can try to be better, then this is not the type of static you join. Wave clearly joined the static like this. Wave joined the wrong static. Dice joined the correct static. <laughs> Once you find this group, this is the type of group you don't let go. But this is also the type of group that you can join. This is for me, this is the best one. No accountability, strictly performance. No favorism, no bullshit, strictly performance. These are the one with the highest success rate. World first players are right here. World first players are the players that can switch, that can flip this switch. Over here, these are the world first player. You know, now I actually think about it, right? He got replaced because of the conversation with Dice regarding why he GCD heal. And then Dice went to the leader and say him or me and his cake. Now I suddenly think about it. Oh, wow, that's the TLDR. Obviously, he think that that's an important communication. Now I feel bad that this communication that doesn't need to be there turns out getting him kicked. And that is not like he said. That wasn't even the issue why they won. <laughs> no, no, my God, now I feel bad. This guy is the pizza delivery guy that was delivering pizza on his bike. And then he, he, he biked past the accident. And then after that, he decided that, man, I should be stand. Okay, you know what? this pizza. I'm just gonna stand here, wait for the traffic police and the ambulance and to come here and I'm gonna provide them a comprehensive eyewitness report because I saw what happened. I was a citizen of the world. I was doing my job but I saw something that took priority over my job. I'm gonna sit there. I'm gonna wait. The police came. The police wrote a statement. The police think that I did my job. I got a pat on my back. I suddenly delivered the pizza. The customers start complaining. I go back to the office and then my boss fired me. That's how I feel Blaze is. Blaze was trying to be a nice citizen and he got fired for it. He doesn't even need to be there, by the way. He could just deliver his pizza. He can come back and provide a statement after, but he decided to take one wrong, one unnecessary step and then he got fired. <laughs> okay, okay, now I need to read the comment. So there's another story in the comment. Okay, okay.
What am I looking at? Oh shit, I have a meeting at 2 p.m. Ah! My agent is. I forgot I have a meeting with my agent. No, I forgot. Okay, let me just go through this real quick. Oh my god, I forgot I got a meeting. Okay, okay. What is the story with Dice? The amount of parties I joined being where Dice joined other hero immediately left is kind of crazy. This Dice is ass at the game and an absolute asshole about it. They just AFK. How did the guy make it into the group? What the f players are you guys trolling? See, that's a red flag. I've co heal with the healer before. Honest, honestly, just a nightmare of person and you're better off without the nastiness. <laughs> is he really that bad? They play with him before their ego is huge for no reason. They aren't capable of taking criticism or wrongdoing. Holy sh is that Dice, the legendary chat healer of Crystal? The one player that ends up on every healer blacklist after one pool? The one that joins pro party and never use a single GCD? The one that, hey, I mean, he did use too much GCD. The one that have pilot to get piloted in DSR for a clip by another PF terrorist because the DSR group imploded and no other one would take them because everybody knows them and they could... Holy sh This guy seems like he's got a really good experience. A feat in itself even as even the Monga Steers of Monga Steers have gotten a DSR PF clear. That, dude, this guy seems to be... No, no, no. Guys, this right here is PT, a PTSD. How come I don't know this guy? Holy f how many comments are there in this video? This has more comment than an Asmund Go video. This has more comment than a half a million Asmund Go view video. Okay, guys, I need to go to a meeting. Okay, see you guys later. Peace.